you can too make your own logo reveal like this one. In this tutorial, everything is explained in a very simple terms so that after watching this, you will directly subscribe. To begin with, we would need a logo. So I'm using this. If you want this logo, it's maybe in the description. Let's delete everything because that's a ritual and take a cube. Divide the panel and bring a geometry node. Now we'll use a node called distribute points on faces. What I want is my object to have pimples like these. Let's also bring our logo inside this geometry node system so that we can just remove the original cube and use the logo. Now let's distribute about 500 density on the faces. Then these points can be later replaced with the cubes. The points look so big so I will use a cent point radius and set it to 0 0.01. Now that we have the points, now we have to just make them move. So for that we will use a simulation node. Now don't get scared. For the simulation zone, make sure you are using the latest version of Blender which is 4.0. Don't connect the points to the input of this simulation node. That will not work. What we actually have to do is use a join geometry node and then connect it. I will connect this simulation output to the group output. So simulation zone will emit new points on every frame. And now if you play, nothing happens. This tutorial scammed you. Actually what is happening is they are spawning at the exact same place. To see it properly or actually to fix it, we will use a scene time which we will connect to the seed in distribution points on faces so that these points will spawn at the different position at every frame. That is the job of this scene time. Now these points are swarming our logo but we actually want them to be moving. For that we will make a setup which will be the velocity of our points. Now please don't run away after hearing these notes. So first of all we will connect the store name attribute between our set position and join geometry. Change it to the vector and enter the name VEL for velocity. We will also connect a set position node after the store name attribute. Now we use the named attribute and connect it to the set position offset. So what is happening here is whatever value we input in the store named attribute, the named attribute will use the same value for example let's connect a vector math node in between and set the value of the z to 0.01 and play now you can see it's moving so at every frame the points are going up by 0.01 distance on z axis but we can make it even better so just duplicate our named attribute and connect it back to add node and then play then this happens the values are looping and the result is increasing at a double rate at every frame so it looks like something similar to gravity it looks just straight they are just going straight up and we want some windy or noisy behavior in them which we will achieve using the noise texture duplicate the vector math node and connect noise textures to it then uncheck the normalize and then play it's all shit because noise is way too powerful right now we will scale it down with the operation set to scale in the vector math node and set it to 0.01 also set it to 2d and play now to give it more variation we will duplicate these two nodes and then connect the normals from distribute point on faces to the scale so that when we play they pop out and then goes up by the way if you want to change the direction just change the value of the first air node for whichever direction you want they are like x y and z the initial velocity i have set it to 0.001 so that it goes really slowly the second thing the effect of the noise i have reduced it to 0.001 if you want it to be strong, you can increase the value. Well, that depends how much strong value you want of the noise. But I'm going for this kind of result, so I'm happy with this. We have now everything. If you want the logo animation file, it is available for free on my Gumroad page. How to define where the particles should pop out from? So for that, we will use a map, which is actually a UV map, which will tell the geometry node that bring the particles from here. Let's first get that map by just unwrapping our logo. Select the mesh, go into edit mode, select everything, press U and then smart UV project. We are going to hide our original logo. I will just connect our 
object info which is the logo to this joint geometry so that it reappears now in geonodes use stored named attribute and connect it just after our object info in the option select map one and this will give us that uv map now we will use this by adding a named attribute and set it to map one now we have the map now let's use it and visualize it how it looks by control shift left clicking on it and then clicking on our object info which is our original logo and it looks like a rainbow don't worry after the named attribute add a gradient texture then it will look like this nothing has changed that much but don't worry we are almost there now to get a sharp edge of that gradient texture from the color drag out a uh, wire and then click equal I type equal and you will get this now we'll just change this to a uh, float and then connect it back again reduce epsilon to 0.02 .02. and if you play with b value we get this now that we have the data where we want the points to emit from but how do we tell that only keep the points there only so that is really simple what we are going to do is after the distribute points on faces we will tell the system to delete some points so it will add a your geometry node and set it to points so that we can delete points and now if we connect this it will delete the points only on this sharp area but we don't want that we want to tell it to not delete it so we'll use a operation called boolean which is a math and set to not so it won't delete it and drag and drop it between now you can see the result by changing the p-value so this p-value will be our transition so if you want to adjust how the transition should appear go to the uv editor selecting the logo and set it like this because the uv map will go from left to right in this case it doesn't matter if you scale it that won't be an issue you can click this to select the uv islands and set it in a proper manner animate it at zero let's insert a keyframe and make it zero value and go to the hundredth frame and set it to one value and insert keyframe by pressing i i would like to replace these points with a cube so use an instance on point just after the simulation output and let's add a cube and bring it inside the geometry node system and connect it to the instance and we will get this note i have changed the number of density to 2k you can go higher if you want it is always good to name everything in your scene so for every time for it to refresh you have to always play back from the zeroth frame now finally to get this type of reveal effect we have to set up some nodes and play with the texture so first thing first we want one logo which will be black add the object info again and with it we will assign it a black texture using set material node and now let's divide this panel from here and set the material and change it to a color which will be black now we have two same logo but we want one to be a little smaller which will be our color logo because the black one will dissolve and refill the blue white logo for that add a extrude node after our original one and set the value to minus 0.001 so it hides and uncheck the individual with this setup we just have to animate the black texture for that we will need a transparent bsdf then Control shift and left click and drag on principal bsdf will connect them with a mix shader that's a neat trick now using the factor right here we will define where we want the black logo to disappear from again that is really simple we are again going to use the same map we used for emitting the particles now add a uv map and select map one and connect to the gradient texture now control plus shift plus left click on it and let's visualize it how it looks we want it to be sharper so we will add a map range and set the value of the from minimum to 0.99 the rest will be the same you might be wondering why can't we see if it's sharp now that is because we have to change the value just the same as we moved in the geometry node system where we animated the p-value 
For that, we will add a math node between the change value and change the value to see the result with the map range and without a map range. You can check what it actually looks like. Now we have to just animate it right here. So we can enter the same value from this equal node. Just copy this value, paste at the same frame, press I to insert keyframe, at the 150th frame also. Same copy though, same value. And one more thing that I would like to tell you is that I'll select all the keyframes. Let's just bring this summary, selecting all, press T and change to linear interpolation. If we finally connect the mixed shader, you will see what is happening. But, 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 it's going the opposite. So we will just select the keyframes for the texture and I will scale them by minus one and we are good to go. As you can see, it's working. If we look properly, the particles are ahead of the gradient texture. To fix that, we will add a mapping between the UV map and the gradient texture and adjust the X location and we will get the perfect result. Now let's see the final result and it looks perfect. Now let's give it all a finishing look. First, let's assign texture to our dear little cubes. So create a new one for it and it's a simple texture as you can see on my screen you can copy the same and you'll get the same result let's go back to our black material and now here at the edge we want the same pink color as our cube we will duplicate the map range change the from minimum and from maximum value to 1.01 and one like to the emission strength of our principal psdf and lastly change the color of emission to the same pink as the cube and find the final effect in this tutorial that i would like to do is add some fake displacement for that use another uv map connect to the warner texture and set it to these settings so that it is something like this now then connect it to a color ramp and adjust to get this so that they match the size of the cubes finally we need it to affect only the edge part we will have to get that using the compare node compare you can find in the math operation of a math node connect it from our add which has the animated map so that it keeps on animating we will combine this with our square texture which is the one night texture using a mix node set to darken and factor 1 so we get something like this visually lastly add a bump node and connect to the bump height and lastly connect it to the normal of the principal PST. and we have this beautiful final result if you want the logo animation file it is available for free on my gumroad page simply just click the link in the description and you will be directed to my gumroad page and here you will select the free one and you can then download it just enter the amount zero and you can just then download it. If you feel like supporting my channel, you can donate me $1, $2, $3, $4 as per your wish. Also, there is a paid version available on my Gumroad page, which has all the animation and control features available with it. After getting the paid version, if you have any problems or any doubts, you can directly reach out to me on my mail, which is available on my Gumroad. So I will see you guys in the next one and peace out.